I'm fearless and determined. If you believe in yourself, you believe in God, and you really work hard at it, things can happen. I started boxing when I was 10 years old. A friend of mine was boxing at the time, and we liked to goof off and slap box each other. He said, you know, you should come down to the gym and try it out, because you got some pretty quick hands. I begged my dad to take me down to the gym. Three months later, I told Tim, I said, all right, we're going to do this. But guess what? Once he starts something, he's going to finish. When I had my first sparring session, I sparred my friend. I mean, he beat the crap out of me, you know? He, you know, he left, I was, I was crying and bloody nose, you know, busted lip, the back of my neck was hurting. It was my first time sparring, you know? And I mean, he really gave it to me because I got angry in the ring. After that sparring session, my trainer came up to me, Russell, and he said, you can't get angry because if you get angry, you leave yourself open. We trained every day. Anywhere we were at, I was there hitting his hands and, you know, just, just training in the shower, shadow boxing in the shower. You know, whatever I learned that day in the gym, I was at home practicing it. A few weeks later, get back into the ring, spar my friend, and he was on the other side. He was crying, had a snotty nose, and a bloody nose, but you know, busted lip. It changed my life completely. I just dedicated my life to the sport. father plays a big role in the way he is now because his dad made him tough. And my dad started waking me up in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, before school, to go run up this tram road in Palm Springs, California. It's a tough, tough road. His dad would tell him, you're gonna give me 100 push-ups. And by the 60th, 70th push-up, he was tired. He could be crying. He never said, you know what, okay, just give me five more. He was sitting or standing right there until he gave it 100 push-ups. But everything comes from, from him growing up, the way he grew up, the rough way, the tough way. That's why he's so hungry to, to be in, the, in, in this position now. The transition from the boxer to the fighter was when I actually turned professional. That's when I had to become a hunter. And what I mean by hunter, meaning going to your guy, as opposed to backing up. That was something that was implemented through uh, my head trainer, Joel Diaz. You know, he said that I have to be more aggressive, I have to take it to these guys. And he showed me how to rough guys up. Go ahead. Yeah. He showed me all these, these things that I needed to do to become a complete fighter. When I turned professional, I had to become the hunter. There's a lot behind the scenes. There's a lot of sacrifice. There's a lot of hard work that people don't see. Every fight is dangerous in this game because it only takes one punch to end the night. Yeah. Oh. Pressure is hard to deal with. I deal with it with my wife. She believes in me. I always talk to God as well to calm the storm down. To be honest with you, dude, like I'm just thankful like that I'm here, man. Sometimes like when I hear about suicides, like when different athletes or whatever when it's too much pressure, when it's too much, you know, they take their own life because they can't handle the pressure, man. It's gotten to a point to where, like, I've thought about it. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, like, it's past my mind because it's so much pressure on you, man. And I have to win, I have to. Would I ever take my life? No, I will never take my life. Even when he's dead tired, he never says no or that's it, never. I mean, you could give him all the work you want. You could add work and give him more rounds, anything you want, and he'll never say, I'm done or I'm tired. Never take no for an answer. People said to me early on that I was too short for the weight class. I didn't hit hard enough. You know, I wasn't fast enough. And they said I didn't have what it took to be a champion. I like to be the underdog. That fires me up. I can't believe that this fight has actually happened. This is a game changer for me. 
Manny is an animal. He has a lot of tenacity. He lived a tough life to get to this point. So, I mean, he carries all that in the ring. It's gonna be a tough, tough battle, but I'm willing to endure that pain. It's a big adrenaline rush because I pump him up and he pumps me up. We were born fighters. Coming out the gates from the dressing room, you know, my heart's pumping, my hands are sweaty, my feet are sweaty. I'm thinking about the game plan over and over in my head. Every now and then, you, I get a doubt in my head. I shake it off. Nah, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. I go out there, I see the lights, I see the ring. You know, it's just so much tension built up inside of me. You know, I just want to scream. Oh, man, just be like, ah! That's what makes me different from other fighters. I'm willing to go out on my shield, but I'll have some dignity inside that, hey, I gave it everything that I possibly can give. I'm gonna shock the world. This is my time.